What's going on guys? Spencer here with HM Massage. Today I have a great scalp and head massage for you. You can do this in just a couple of minutes and I am a firm believer that giving a good head massage can turn even bad massages into great ones. So here you go. So starting off, we're gonna be working the ears. You should always do a little bit of ear work in any head massage. And you'll see me working the back and then one finger at a time transitioning up to the temples. Once we're here, we're just going to do some nice circular friction at a slow to moderate pace. You can then kind of work your way back to where you're doing the same circular friction but along the entire head as well as some nice slow gliding. I then turn their head to one side and work the back of their head on either side. This is more of the occiput, the subocciput, and the base of the neck. This feels really good, and it's an area that tends to not get worked a lot. So make sure to wrap around and be working the back and underside of their head. Back center, I'm just spreading my fingers across and notice my thumbs are crossed at the center, kind of doing a slight friction work right at the peak of their head. Spreading your fingers really broad gives it a nice encompassing feeling. You should probably also warn them that their hair is going to get messed up. Transition into holding their forehead and then using your palms and your fingers give a nice spread, pulling the muscles away from the center. And here I'm doing a raindrop technique where I'm just kind of alternating my fingers and almost walking across his head. And feel free to change up the pace, go slower, go faster. And move right into doing that spread, but basically on top of the eyebrows this time. And doing those circles on the temples are just a great transition move, as well as a move to throw in really any time. It feels that good. I'll then go down the neck and give a nice traction where I'm slightly pulling their neck away from their shoulders and slightly to each side. I'll do this stretch forward as well, but only do this if they're able to, not if they've had any injury or if it hurts them. And as the massage comes to an end, we're gonna go a lot faster and start to really up the pace. This is kind of to wake them up and let their brain come back to the real world. Give one final closing stroke and they should be good to go.